right, hi, and uh, welcome to uh, the first It's Your Turn to Cook in, I guess, six months or something. I'm with my friend Dan here. What are you going to cook for us, Dan? Well, today I was thinking it's fall. We have lots of harvest stuff left over. I have some apples from uh, my son went apple picking with his uh, daycare. I have some of those left. So I figured we should cook them into some apple crisp. First thing, we'll preheat to 350. 350. So I put half a cup of sugar, one tablespoon of flour, and uh, a teaspoon approximately of ground cinnamon. And in another bowl, I've put one cup of flour, one and a half cups of oats. I've added a uh, half a cup of wheat germ because it's really nutritious and this white flour has been stripped of lots of its goodness. A uh, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, quarter teaspoon of baking powder, and half a cup of packed brown sugar. And then uh, we have half a cup of water that we'll need. We have half a cup of butter that I'll need to melt. Actually, I'll do that now. But we need to chop nuts. I've got some Brazil nuts here, which are fairly fatty in saturated fats, but they taste great. So we're gonna have Brazil nuts and a bunch of almonds to rich in calcium. So you can pretty much cut them how you want. I like big chunks. Okay, let's see if that butter's ready. Uh, it's not completely melted, but it will, the rest is gonna melt quick. Anyways, it's nice big chunks. And they get all roasted get when you bake it in the oven. Micah, did you pick those apples? Yeah. Uh, the recipe calls for 10 cups of sliced apples, but again, I just, I just approximate, pretty much. You lay them down in the, lay them down in the dish. We have our baking dish. It's supposed to be a nine by thirteen. I don't know if that's nine by thirteen. Maybe. It says uh, it Oh, it does. It is a nine by thirteen. Wonderful. Well, we actually <laughs> have what they, what they told us to put. How about the? Do you need to prep the apples? Yeah, we got to peel and slice. Uh, peel and slice. Them. Let me get started on that. Or? Sure. I am going to combine the oats, the big flour, wheat germ, and the brown sugar with the butter. I'm going to mix it in together. Then I'll mix, I'll mix the nuts in too. And the only other thing that I'm going to use is some honey. I'm going to drizzle some honey on at the very end before we put it in the oven because it tastes good. I am going to combine the oats, the big flour, wheat germ, and the brown sugar with the butter. I'm going to mix it in together. So I'm just cutting them up. You got a few, like, you know, get a couple little bruises there. You can chuck them out. So we just slice up the apples and line the bottom of the pan. I guess as a, at a minimum, we want to have enough to cover it. You can cut them however you like. I have big pieces, small pieces. It doesn't really matter. It's all going to taste great when it's done. That's got the cinnamon, sugar, and a little bit of flour. And then now we're going to sprinkle it over the apples. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just try and spread it out everywhere. So that little half cup of water, we're just going to sprinkle it all over. And then now we've got our big nutty oaty coating. This we're going to spread out all over top and make like a crust with it. Pack it down a little. You don't have to, but I find it holds together really nice after it bakes if you pack it down a little bit. That's just about ready to go. Then I'm just going to drizzle a little honey on for some extra flavors. So the oven's prepped. Pop it in. Set to 45 minutes. Take a look. We'll see. I mean, Hi guys. Hi. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Ooh, that looks, that looks hot. 
Yeah. That looks good, man. It's brown. Mm, it sure crispy. smells good, man. It's, yeah. uh, if you leave it, it too long, great. where you put the honey turns black, that's when you know it's been too long. Oh, okay. It's more of a mush than a crisp. The crispy part's on top, but it doesn't really hold oh, so much together to a piece. Ice cream. That's apple crisp. 